About a year and a half ago, I set a goal for myself to learn the basics of robotics and build a cake baking robot from scratch. The point of this project wasn't to build something that was useful, but it was to have a larger project that would be challenging enough that I would force myself to learn the basics of robotics and delve pretty deep into it while also making it still reasonably attainable. And today is the first day that the cake baking robot works. For those of you who have seen my previous video on the cake bot, uh, you'll have a pretty good idea of what went into the first year or so of this project. For those of you who haven't seen that video, here's a quick snapshot as to what went into the process of building the cake bot in the first year. Before starting the cake bot, I had no prior experience with robotics, very little experience with programming, and very little experience with electronics. Before learning anything, I asked one of my electrical engineer friends for some advice, and he suggested getting a SparkFun electronics kit that pretty much takes you through the step-by-step -step process for learning the basics of robotics, learning how to program a servo, or how motor drivers work, or just even getting like a light to blink. If you are interested in learning the basics of robotics, I personally would highly recommend the SparkFun kit or something like it. Save me a lot of time and will probably save you a lot of time as well. Using this guide, it took me about one and a half months, probably spending five to six hours a week to understand the basics of robotics and really how I can apply them to the design of the cake baking robot. My biggest takeaway from that experience is that 95% of robotics is frustration and failure and 5% of it is complete pure joy which totally overshadows the 95% of the time that is frustrating. Once I learned those skills I built the initial design of the robot and started trying to put together what I thought those functions should be doing, whether it was the tipping function, or the mixing function, or the egg breaking function. Surprisingly, I actually found that programming these different functions separately was a lot easier than building them physically. Oh yeah! Yes! Turning the mixer on. Yeah! Other than the cake bot finally working, I think that this is my favorite part of the whole build. I think the reason that is is because there's this excitement that comes along with learning new skills and when you mix that in with a ton of failure and persistence and more failure and more persistence and you just continue failing and being terrible at stuff until you finally get the function, you know, the, the flour to pour into the bowl, uh, it feels incredible. Yes! 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 Ugh. Once all the functions were done, we were probably like two months behind schedule, but me being the naive person who's never put together a robot or tried to combine anything, I thought that part was going to be the easy part, but obviously it turned out to be the most difficult part of this entire build. Once everything was put together, dumping mechanism one and two worked fine. The two egg breaking mechanisms worked fine for the most part. Uh, the motor moving the mixer up and down worked okay, and the tilting mechanism worked fine. But for whatever reason, whenever the freaking mixer or mixing bowl turned on, the entire thing would short out. It's hard to explain how much pain and effort and time went into trying to figure out this problem just on camera, but it was a freaking horror show. Here's a list of all the stuff that we tried and that went wrong with the cake baking robot that I do not have time to talk about in this video. The problem was so persistent that we actually couldn't figure it out before having to film the finale for the, the show that we were originally making this cake baking robot for and we just had to, to film it with the grandma coming in and mixing the cake batter for me. Excellent! <laughs> Excellent cake! So we shot the finale for the cake baking robot. It didn't work. It like worked 90% of the way. Didn't fully work and I wanted to try and get this thing done. 
So over the span of the next eight months, I worked on it, you know, sporadically trying to figure out the different problems. And after a ton of experimentation, I figured out that the motor that we were using to spin the bowl was actually sending back way too many amps to the Arduino. And we replaced the motor on that and it worked. None of the servos are twitching when it runs. Everything is plugged in right now. So that's a great sign. I think that the last thing that I need to troubleshoot before this whole project is done is to figure out how the heck I'm gonna mix it. So I thought that the problem that was going on with the mixer was because it was sending way too many volts through the circuit, which was causing the circuit to short. So I thought that if I completely separated the mixer from the rest of the circuit, that there is no possible way that this thing could short. So I built a light switch mechanism that was attached to the robot that when it would go past down the light switch, it would turn the mixer on and it would, when it went up, it would turn it off. Um, so there, there was literally no connection to the rest of the circuit and it would still happen. At this point, I thought that the only reasonable explanation could be that there was some sort of an electromagnetic field coming off of this mixer. So I borrowed my mom and dad's mixer to see if it would cause electromagnetic interference when it was put on next to all the servos and nothing happened. So I hooked it all up and it ended up working. Okay, this is one and a half years and 300-ish hours in the making. I freaking hope it works. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Please. No. Thus far, it's working pretty well. It's not perfect. Yes. After 300 yes. hours of toiling away at this thing, of failing and continuing to persist through that failure, this cake baking robot freaking works. It's not perfect. When it pours the sugar, sugar gets everywhere. You have to heat up the butter before you put it in the pouring things or else it just stays in the pouring things. The mixer works 99% of the way, but when you take it out, you have to Mix it a little bit because some of the flour gets stuck to the bowl. Even though it's not this sellable, marketable machine, that was never its point. Its point was to act as something that could help me learn about the basics of robotics. And now I know the basics of robotics in and out, and it feels so goddamn good.